I guess you could say anorexia is in a piece of cake. That's a kick. I'm I'm kicking you. I'm not gonna ban you, but no, you, you've got to get the hell out of here for a second. No, the entire chat has basically just descended into people spewing Overwatch lines into mics that probably don't even cost a dime. That's a lot of fucking money, dude. I can't. I don't know. G -G. Amazing. It's high noon. Rainbow Six Siege is one of the deadliest weapons in that game. Is fucking hockey pucks. Oh, you're talking about Fuse. You're talking about your boy Fuse. <laughs> he fires hockey pucks. They bounce across the room. It's insane. Yeah. Nah, you can just imagine Fuse sitting outside with a chair, some coffee, and some donuts while he's chugging maple syrup while he's hitting that fucking button. You are surrounded. Give me that mic. Eat less. This is terrible. But anytime that I think of Mira, I think of that he burned my patch video. Have you guys seen that? <laughs> For those of you that haven't seen it, basically one airsoft player is feuding with another airsoft player and he ends up dumping about 30 rounds into his back at point blank range in front of around 20 people. He burned my patch. And because this video is even slightly amusing, of course it's been remixed and edited into garbage because the internet. Shut up, clock in and load up. I don't know, maybe it's just her Vector or K-10 if you're in on that joke, which a lot of you probably are. That just reminds me of an airsoft gun. It just makes it perfectly analogous in my brain because those are the only types of weapons that can dump that many rounds into someone that quickly. My experience with Mira so far is nothing short of polarizing, at least when it comes to her primary weapon because you're either the guy that is meticulously picking off headshots popping heads like grapes or you're the guy that sprays bullets like he's flying an A-10 Warthog. Uh, Either way, whatever you were shooting at is probably dead, all because rate of fire is the ultimate compensator for lack of aiming ability. Trust me, I would know. However, Mira does have some problemos that players have already identified. The first being her size, and I'm not talking about that size. Nuts. I'm gonna give you the rundown on Finn and Nut, all right? Tell on. You wanna know what it means, bro? <laughs> all right. You wanna know what it means? It means yeah, you're please. busting. It means you're busting a fat one. So who wants to play some Roblox rap battles right. with your boy? Me. I'm talking about how she's a three armor operator, which means that she's beefier than ground shuck. <laughs> While simultaneously being extremely tiny as an individual with a tinier hitbox. I swear I hate your head, Mira. This makes me so sad. Of course, the most important hitbox is always going to be the head, and most players that I've talked to are a little pooper pain that her visor doesn't count as her hitbox, nor does her backpack. Whereas other three armor operators like Tachanky Kang and Rook seem to have hitboxes that are comparable to the weapon charms. <laughs> Why did you get headshotted? Because I have a hitbox the size of a fucking extra large pizza, so shut your mouth. Okay, so now that you understand that she carries around an A-10 Warthog as a primary weapon on her shoulder, and she's as bullet resistant as Superman, let's move on. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. Hey, bagger. Ah! Stop. Bagger, I love your videos. Well, I'm about to die because of you. I'm asking him to change his- w I'm kidding. I'll stop now. Don't worry, this setup is tactical AF. I know what I'm doing. Oh, dude, work. And it's already glitched. Yep, you can bust the canister from the other side of the wall as an attacker, so that's not working as intended. What else is new? Simply put, you melee it from the other side of the wall in a certain sweet spot, you'll see a hit marker and it'll pop down. I know that may be a bit of a blemish, but what I love about the mirror is that it provides a tremendous opportunity for creativity. Now the conventional route for using this thing is to throw it on a reinforced wall, blow the canister once you see an enemy, and headshot them faster than the JFK. Man, that sucks for you. But sometimes that can be tricky because teammates will start arguing with you over which wall to put the mirrors on and which direction to face them. Wow, okay, put one right here, but on the side that I'm on, like right there. Yeah. No, dude, there's a picture of a dinosaur right here. I don't want to ruin that. Fuck that dinosaur. <laughs> Whoa, easy. <laughs> Another cheese tactic is to throw the mirror on a reinforced wall, but keep an adjacent wall without a reinforcement so you can use the mirror for line of sight and then wall bang once you line up the shot. Or you can just skip the reinforcement altogether, throw it on a plain old wall, and wall bang from any direction or angle that you want. Well, 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 look at the time. I knew. 
Tango is down. Personally, I think it's almost always the best course of action just to leave the mirror up so you have a constant cubby spying hole which screams, I can see you, but you can't see me. Because not only is it blatantly obvious when someone has busted the canister and is ready to shoot you in the face because the sound effect itself is not well blended into the environment. Just listen to this. You see that? It's pretty obvious that the mirror is coming down because it's poorly blended and it's not even really directional. It's like a higher volume than the other sounds and it just sticks out so much you can pick up on it instantly. Not criticizing the design, by the way. Maybe that's intentional on Ubisoft's part to give you a heads up before it comes down. It's almost like me layering a gunshot sound effect into a video without any sort of blending at a heightened volume. You see how that sticks out? Versus me hitting it with a filter and some amplitude modulation just to make sure it's blended into the environment. So now that you know how much it sticks out, you can see how easily people are baited into dropping it, thinking that they're in for an easy kill, yet they end up getting headshotted. Right in the face! Just remember that the main reason that you can bait so well when it comes to the mirror is the three second delay, which I kind of had to learn the hard way. Hey, you're Are you ready to bad. see this? Oh, oh never mind. Yeah. I blasted like 50 into the oh, mirror. Yeah, Damn it. No! Oh, I'm no, dead. I nice. <laughs> oh my I god. Are you about the delay. All I have to say is, as a defender, you run into a lot more problems once that mirror comes down. Just remember that in the same way you can't unmurder a hostage or unexplode C4, you can't undrop the mirror once you drop it down. So just have complete conviction before you break it. When in doubt, leave it up and just tattletale to your teammates where the enemy is. Especially if your Valkyrie is one kill away from an ace and holding a Desert Eagle around a corner. You can tell me when he fucking comes. Yeah. Yeah. Danny okay, he's coming now. Uh, he's, you ready? Uh, you ready? Fire, uh, fire, fire, fire. Perfect. Yeah, yes, boy. yes. Got it. Yes. Ace, yes. Ace, ace, ace. Ace, ace. <laughs> Jack, Dude, look go. how big your gun is. I don't need this. Hacker. And that's about it. Be sure to tune in next time when we play a Battlefield game that I have not touched in forever. Later, nerds. <laughs>